Hello, it's Deacon Chris coming to you again with the fourth installment of my series on healing with scripture. I'm using a, uh, a reading from Sunday, February 4th. This would be the fifth Sunday in Ordinary Time. You know, I want to uh, acknowledge something else. I'm healing very well, and I believe this is through the power of prayer more than anything else. I've talked about the brilliance of the surgical procedure, the surgeons, the technicians, the nurses, everyone that worked on me, the, the wonders of this procedure of open heart surgery, and my predisposition to, to be in shape for this, um, to be prepared for this eventuality. But I think through the power of prayer, I am really healing well, and I want to thank everyone that's praying for me and assure you that I'm continuing to pray for you. So um, I had an interesting uh, message from a, a dear friend of mine that said, you know, if you do a search on the internet, you'll find lots of other scriptures that talk about healing from God. And my goodness, that's true. There's a whole lot of them. For the time being, I've been concentrating on finding these messages and, and encouragements to healing in our Sunday scriptures, because sometimes we go through a week and that's the only thing that we're going to hear all week is the Sunday scriptures. So this week I'm going to our, our first reading from Isaiah chapter 58. Thus says the Lord, Share your bread with the hungry. Shelter the oppressed and the homeless. Clothe the naked when you see them. And do not turn your back on your own. Then your light shall break forth like the dawn, and your wound shall quickly be healed. Your vindication shall go before you, and the glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. Then you shall call, and the Lord will answer. You shall cry for help, and he will say, Here I am. If you remove from your midst oppression, false accusation, and malicious speech, if you bestow your bread on the hungry and satisfy the afflicted, then light shall rise for you in the darkness, and the gloom shall become for you like midday. Wonderful words of encouragement, and I'm getting this sense of a reciprocal disposition. We want to experience healing. We want to experience God's graces, and God is lovingly giving us a message. You need to be open to these graces, and to be open to these graces, you need to follow the example that I'm setting for you. These words of Isaiah, you'll, you'll hear echoed in the scriptures when we hear Jesus talking about, about clothing the naked and feeding the hungry. So, I want to roll with this idea this week. Let's open ourselves to be predisposed to receiving God's graces and healing by following what God wants us to do. Help those in need. Be kind to those around us. Clothe the naked. Feed the hungry. Shelter the oppressed. In the meantime, I want to pray with the psalm again and think about this. Psalm 112 from this Sunday's readings. Light shines through the darkness for the upright. They are gracious, merciful, and just. Well it is for those who are gracious and lend, who conduct their affairs with justice. They shall never be moved. The just shall be in everlasting remembrance. An evil report they shall not fear. Hearts firm, trusting in the Lord, they shall not fear. Thank you again for your prayers, and I'll continue to pray for all of those of you who are listening. And maybe you want to share this video with others who are, are waiting for healing and, and hoping for healing from the Lord. In future episodes, I, I think I may start to dis explore some of those other scriptural references to healing and, and share those with you as well. For the time being, God bless you and keep you.